What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to SVR 2010 on the Nintendo DS. I am now on Monday Night Raw. Took out Chris Jericho, laid him out yesterday. The McMahons are a strange family. That is putting it lightly, Vicky. Lightly. And that must be why they took a shot on someone like you. Thanks, Vicky. I saw you on Dynamite last night, but that's, we'll get to that here on the show. Uh, Horn Swoggle in the locker room. Yeah. What do you got, Swoggle? Little bastard. Ha ha! Ha! That's alright. You're just gonna laugh at me? I mean, okay. Everyone else does that, I guess. Sure. And Kelly Kelly in the backstage area. Come on! What do you got? Whenever I watch a pay per view, I pay extra close attention whenever you compete. Really. Not to distract you or anything, you have Kelly Kelly in a match, mid-match, multiple times. That's happened. Watch the show. I've seen you do it. Uh-oh. Big ol' flip phone. What do you got, Steph? I have some news for you. Come to my office immediately. Alright, I guess. 5-2, Monday Night Raw. Alright. Taking no detours, just in case. And heading to the Raw office of one Stephanie... McMahon Helmsley. Tonight, you'll be in a gauntlet match. Oh boy. It will be Slug picking on Cody Rhodes, Kane, and Chris Jericho. Imagine that. It was the only way I could get him in the ring with you so you could get some revenge. I already beat him up though and left him laying. So what revenge do I need? I got what I wanted and he still wants to pick a fight with me. Well, that's fine, Chris. We can do that. Whatever. Parking lot, locker room, backstage. Hold on. Boop, boop. Kofi Kingston. What up, Mon? How's it going? Boop, boop. Yeah, all right. We get it, Kofi. Boop, boop. All right. Let's get down to this gauntlet match. Cody Kane and Jericho. Hold on a minute, player. In the backstage. And then, what's that? Steel chair! Laid him out! Good God Almighty! Of course, of course! Looks like now you're eligible for a handicap parking. That's not cool, Chris Jericho. Relax. It's Slug's second match on Raw, and he'll be running the gauntlet tonight. The first opponent is Cody Rhodes. Followed by the Big Red Machine. That's gotta be Kane. Followed by, and the last opponent will be Chris Jericho. Save us, Y2J. Slug will have to defeat these three men one by one. Remember, Jericho helped bring Slug to Raw so that he can be made an example of. And what about Jericho's vicious attack in the parking lot? What about it? That's gotta be a factor in the match tonight. Will Jericho finish what he started? Or will Slug get his revenge tonight? We'll find out in the ring. It's only smoke and mirrors, folks. Welcome to a fine, I guess fine, Thursday on the program. Didn't see a whole lot in the news section, but I do have a bunch to discuss from both AEW and NXT last night. So let's get right down to what happened, what important happened on those shows uh, last night. So, AEW continued with their TNT Championship Tournament, and there were the two semifinal matches, Darby and Cody here, and also Dustin and Lance Archer. And as I told you, when they announced these brackets, the finals were gonna be Cody and Lance Archer. That makes the most sense. And wouldn't you know who won the pony? It's gonna be Cody and Lance Archer, so... Even though it's super logical booking, even though it's super predictable booking, it still worked out really well. As long as you do it right, being predictable isn't always a bad thing. So, here we are on a Thursday. Move set changes. Fisherman Driver onto Cody on his freaking head. So, Cody doing the coffin drop last night was uh, some fun stuff. I enjoyed that. And then getting out the win just barely over Darby was some fun stuff. So, we had a new statement from MJF saying that, yes, 
Uh, he had that hangnail. He got it all fixed. But then he nicked his neck shaving. Oh my god. Had to wear a neck brace. Funny stuff. MJF will be on the show next week. As a reminder, AEW back to being live for at least, you know, next week. Not sure how they're going to have their taping schedule. But they're going live next week. MJF will be there. Wardlow keeps on beating up jobbers. Good for him, man. The Mr. Mayhem, as they call him, was fun stuff, right? Now, they had the next rendition of the Bubbly Bunch, which totally had the whole thing where they had the stuntmen doing that viral video. They did that, right? And sure, man. Wrestling, at its best, a lot of the times, is basically taking from cues from popular culture. And so, yes, using that viral video thing to do their thing and had a bunch of cameos. Lou, Fer Lou Ferrigno and Vicky Guerrero and, you know, just a bunch of interesting cameos in there. Jay and Silent Bob were in there. Good times, man. Good times. The Best Friends continued their run here, doing some great stuff. Enjoyed that. Uh, Moxley will be on the show next week. Your AEW champion will be live next week. So again, they're going, alright, we're live. Bring back MJF. Bring back Mox. Make it happen. Uh, because NXT, we'll get to that here in a second, is stacked next week. They are stacking the freaking deck on that. Now then, we also, you, ha you also had Brody Lee and Marco Stunt doing their thing. And again, Marco just bumping his ass off. Enjoyed that. The bookend. The bookend, folks. And that was, uh, you know, a fun time. And yes, the main event was Dustin and Lance Archer. Lance Archer breaking out the top rope walk, the old school walk, into a moonsault that he did on Okada in New Japan during the G1 last year, which was, it's still super impressive, and you love to see it. And Cody here is not letting me get that slug sploder. He used the card that gets in all of the reversals, and I was unable to finish off Cody with my finishing maneuver. Not cool, Cody. Not cool. But guess what? Your card is going to run out sometime, and now you face the wrath of the slugster. The book end. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Spanish fly. Spanish fly on Cody Rhodes. The standing Spanish fly, not enough to take out Mr. Smoke and Mirrors here. So, whatever. He's priceless. Do it again. Do it again. Standing Spanish fly should be enough to take out Cody Rhodes. And it was. Oh, there we go. One down, two to go. That's gotta be Kane through Hellfire and Brimstone. Now, does my health stay? All right, I'm still in the white, but I didn't take that much damage. So, Kane with the bookend. That's right. And he pops right back up because that's what he do. The big red machine, the devil's favorite demon. Just chucking me. Just chucking me. And and Kane uses a card. So pick a card, Kane. Any card. But it ain't gonna help when I hit you downstairs, big red monster. I don't think so. Nope. Getting them chops in. I'm gonna give you a chop. Oh no. Oh no. To the ropes. Irish whip. And then you missed the grapple, Kane. Shouldn't have done that, because I'm going to keep on hitting you downstairs, because that's what I do. And I'm not getting any ground grapples here, but whatever. Okay, so, moving on to NXT with a D, D, T. The NXT Interim Cruiserweight Tournament continues. You had Swerve and Phantasma in... Oh, no, he's going for a choke slam. Nope, nope. Crossface chicken wang. That's right. Mr. Bob Backlund to you. Plebeians. Okay, so Swerve and Phantasma were the opening match, and shockingly enough, Swerve beat Phantasma in his second ever match here on NXT. I was shook, man. I was like, wait, what? And then afterwards, or I guess during the commercial break, there was a... Kane, what are you doing, man? There was a bit where they are still trying to kidnap Phantasma, and as the rumor goes, he's going to end up being the leader of that cult somehow, some way. Again, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how we get there in the end. So, next week, they've announced Dijakovic and Gargano. Should be a fun match. We got Candice LeRae with the new heel-style Candice stuff going on. The roll-up! 
against Casey Catanzaro and obviously doing the job there because you get a, a brand new heel, they're going to win that match in their first match being a brand new heel. It's kind of how wrestling works. Like, that is completely... Do a grapple! Not surprising. And Kane here, look, he is the monster. And he is totally trouncing me here. I should have picked some cards for a kick out because I might just lose to Kane here. That was certainly the intention of that backstage attack from Chris Jericho. My first loss here in this game? Quite possibly. Quite possibly. Do a ground grapple. What is wrong with you? Octopus! Octopus on Kane! So, elsewhere on NXT, the newly bro show gave me some flashbacks to original game show NXT. Good God. I'm like, all right, sure. And they ended up getting attacked by Imperium, so I, I guess the next feud for your NXT Tag Team Champions. Whatever. Byron Saxton being just an absolute treasure on that thing. Hilarious. I loved it. It was funny. Like, the, the fake laugh track and Thatcher being like, what the hell's going on with this? Because obviously he was not on that original NXT game show years, whereas Byron totally was. He would know, right? He's been around for a bit, so... Good times, good times. Now, next week we have confirmed that Velveteen Dream and Adam Cole will be happening. So whether or not they're going to keep him off TV after that, whether or not any of these allegations are actually being in investigated, remains to be seen. But that match for the NXT title is happening next week. I told you, they're stacking that show to go head-to-head -head with AEW, who's going to be live next week. So... That is going to be quite... Oh, come on, Kane. Mine missed. Yours hit. I don't appreciate any of the us, Obias, Aeneas. And Kane certainly going to take me to task here, as you might imagine he would. But no matter how big and strong you are, Kane, knee to the back of your dome, uh, you're still getting hit in the junk, and that's still taking you down. Kane, it's still happening. DDT, one more time. So, you had Charlotte facing Mia Yim and obviously winning against the head baddie in charge, but out comes Io Shirai to say, hey, me and you, Charlotte, next week for that NXT women's title. Again, they're stacking next week. Kane, get up. Kane, get up. I need to hit. Oh no! Reverse! There it is. It's time. It's time. Slug Sploder on the big red machine. I don't care how you are. Uh, he no-sold it. He absolutely no-sold the Slug Sploder cane. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Standing. Ah. Uh, Spanish fly. Kane's in the red, as he should be because he's Kane. Three count. But that leaves me seriously destroyed for the incoming Chris Jericho. Like, I'm in no condition to face Jericho here. At all. Yeah. This doesn't look good. Slug has passed out. Help! Let's get some help down here! And here comes Jericho? No? I'm going to the hospital? CM Punk! You alright? I saw what happened. Uh, the big show's looking for you, CM Punk. I'm surprised you can even compete at all after that chair shot. I never got my chance to tell you that you earned my respect during our ladder match. Thanks. And I didn't know anything about the contract at Great American Bash. It's okay, man. A lot of strings get pulled around here. Forget about that. Where's Jericho? I'm sure he's hiding somewhere after what he did to you. Why didn't he run out and fight me? What happened? So Jericho has been behind everything? He even manipulated Stephanie? Really? Sounds like he has a big plans for you, and not in a good way. Tell you what, if you ever need any help, I got your back. Why thanks, CM Punk. I appreciate that. Now rest up and get healthy. Now do you have my back have my back? Or do you have my back like you had Colt Cabana's back in a lawsuit? Just saying. I have to say, I'm not too impressed with Raw's latest addition. Who is it? Who's here? 
Steph, you got through two people in the match and passed out. What kind of superstar does that? Are you still working with Jericho? Hmm? Jericho works for me. And I came to tell you that due to your weak performance, I am dropping you from SummerSlam. How dare you? How dare you? $6,000. So I was in the hospital, but I have to go back to the hospital because my condition is orange. Uh, let's do that, ma'am. Like, seriously. Take my money, I got $11,000, and get my treatment, and I'm back to good, man. Back to golden. Santino, what is it? The doctor said I am the model of perfect physical health. That did not come as a surprise to Santino. In the gym, we have Shelton Benjamin, who is the best athlete. Don't think for one moment you'll ever be as good as me. I mean, sure, fine. I beat you though, just saying. Uh, more Vicky, more Hornswoggle. I feel like we had a story here with Hornswoggle. Like, what happened to that? Is he still doing that? Ha ha! Ha! I guess not? I guess not. I don't know, man. Look, we're here, and we're doing it. And then we got Cody Rhodes here. Hey, Cody, how you feeling after I beat you here? Are you feeling priceless? Remember the name Cody Rhodes. I am the future of this industry. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, look, I'm not going to argue that these days, but who would have thought 10 years ago? Seriously. Finlay, old buddy, old pal. What's cracking, man? When did you get this big? You've really turned into a true superstar. Uh, much appreciated, Fit Finley. Much obliged, man. Let's sleep until Friday, I guess, and see what the deal is then. So, also on the show for NXT next week, Finn Balor to address that mysterious attack that he had that happened to him, I think, last week. So there's going to be that. Dexter Loomis continues his monster push on NXT, which was, you know, interesting to watch. Uh, Drake Maverick. We have to discuss Drake Maverick because if this whole thing is not a work and if he is legit fired from this whole situation, they are absolutely wasting the talents of Drake Maverick. Like, what in the hell? They are so lucky there is not a crowd right now to get hugely behind Drake Maverick because if they had done all this and then legit had him lose and leave, you, you'd be hearing them chanting his name for weeks. Weeks! Because, man, what the hell. And yes, the main event was Keith Lee versus Damian Priest. Keith Lee continues to win, continues to be dominant in the main event as the North American champion. And one last thing to stack next week's NXT will be Karrion Cross and Scarlett making their debut. They have put so many things on next week's show, you just can't miss it. You have to watch it. It's going to be nuts. I'm Attack Slug. I'll see you tomorrow, right here. More of this game and more videos on this channel. And I'm out.